So I'm in the bee yard today. It's about 45 degrees now. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. Some of the colonies, the bigger colonies, are already active. Uh, I got some pollen sub out. I haven't seen them bringing in the real stuff yet. Usually you'll know because they'll stop hitting the pollen sub. But anyway, that's not why I'm really out here today. Um, simple chores you can do this time of year. Well, what I'm doing is I'm going around and I'm cleaning up the uh, bottom boards. So I remove the entrance reducer on the bottom and then I just, I'll show you in a minute what I do. I'm actually, you can use a stick or anything. I use an arrow, I'm an archer. Uh, so I have a plenty of extra arrows laying around. So I have one that has a missing uh, fletch on it and I, I just decided I'll use it for cleaning out the bottom boards. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Uh, no big deal, just get rid of the debris. I don't scrub it, <laughs> you know. I don't take the boxes off the top or anything like that. You know, I'm just keeping it simple. But you might ask, why do you do it? Well, how about we cover that when we're done? You can kind of see what a bottom board looks like this time of year and why it might be beneficial to do it. So hang tight. So I don't have a cameraman today, so this is gonna be a little bit harder uh, to do with one hand. But first thing I'm gonna do is loosen that top box off like that. Right, I'm gonna do that. Just loosen it. So I could see already that my entrance reducer is uh, fairly loose, but it looks like it doesn't, there it is. All right, so pull that off. Now, I really prefer it when the bees are coming out of the top entrance because I don't want to hurt many bees this time of year. Um, and you want to be careful about when you do this because if your bees actually are clustered in that bottom box, they can be hanging down from the bottom and you could be interrupting the cluster. I think that's a big problem. But this time of year, I don't have as big a problem with it because I know that all my bees are up in the top two boxes. So if I was doing a little single nuke, I'd probably be very careful about how I did this. But uh, you can see I don't have any singles in here right now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gently try to get out of the sun. I'm going to take this arrow, insert it in here. Okay, so here's one problem I have already, I can tell. Ooh, this one feels really clean. So what you see right there, see that brown debris? That's just wax cappings when the bees eat the honey. Now this is a bigger colony. And it seems to me that they have done a good job already at cleaning. But I also know that somewhere right around here, like because you see that hit, I should be able to put this all the way in the back and bring this forward. But somewhere right here, I have probably the third or fourth frame in this box. There's a problem with it. It's actually hitting the bottom board. So it's probably a broken frame that I left in there. I'm going to have to take that out and fix that. Um, so normally, though, I'll show you anyway. I'll stick this all the way in the back and I'll bring this forward. This is a, actually the cleanest one I've done so far. So I'm probably gonna get into another spot. Yeah, this one's clean. Part of the reason why it's clean is this is a very big colony. It's three eight frame deeps and they're just able to keep the box cleaner. Um, so they're very healthy. It's a nice size. Uh, so I'm just gonna put the reducer back in on this one. All right, I kind of suspect this one here. I took the reducer off. Man, I'm gonna... Yeah, this one has a lot of mess in it. You can see that right there. See that? That's part of the, one of the downfalls of, of doing the uh, uh, mountain camp method. Um, it's worked for me so far, but it, it also does create this kind of a messy problem in the colony. You can see that. That's not good. That moisture in there, it kind of holds moisture. I think that's a problem. Um, and it's just messy. Here's the other thing, too. The bees have to have it clean. They actually demand that they're clean. Now, they'll suffer in wintertime with it dirty, but as soon as the temperatures rise enough that they can leave the cluster, they will start cleaning this up. They prioritize their work, but they will have to take time to clean these up so if you're into beekeeping and bee management right and not just leaving the bees to themselves 
if you're managing for specific purposes like honey or selling nukes like I do and things like that, then you want to take away the useless work. Whatever you can do. I can't go get honey and pollen for the bees, right? What can I do? I can clean up. I'll clean up after them if they can do the work and devote their time to that. But I guarantee you they are going to clean that whole bottom board at some point. Now look at all that work for them. Think about that. All this work, that's bigger than my hand. And they are going to have to clean that up. So I don't want them to take the time to do that. I want them to take the time to raise young and gather resources. That's what I'm trying to do. So I will do whatever I can to help them out. All right, so the only thing left to do is to put the entrance reducer. You notice not one bee came out of that whole thing, that whole time. You wanna know why? Let's see. Are they dead? Is it possible they're dead? Nope, take a peek. You're doing really good in there, so. That is a five over five and uh, they're doing good. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to share that information with you. Clean your bottom boards if you can. It's just less work the bees have to do. If you don't care and you're not in a hurry and just want to have fun with bees, go ahead. But I do think that anytime you're holding in a bunch of moisture in a colony, that can be a problem for them in the spring. Uh, and I don't want to do that. So I want to take care of the moisture issue before it becomes a big problem. All right, anyway, that was fun. I hope this helped you. Clean your bottom boards. It's a good thing to do. Um, twice a winter is probably really good. Check out this pollen that grows. Well, it's pollen sub. Let's, let's call it what it is. At this point, I haven't seen any real pollen yet, but I expect it soon. Well, they were bringing it in. Let's try these guys. Yeah, see? See them? Yeah, they got pollen sub in there. Ultra bee. All right, buddy. Have a good day. Be blessed. Uh, don't get the coronavirus. <laughs> all right. Hope you guys are all safe and good. Bye-bye.